So now we're making uh, southern cheese grits. And grits are something that we've served our kids when they were growing up because it was filling for them. And we served it on a plate with uh, two fried eggs and that kept them actually pretty satisfied to lunch. And so there's many ways to make grits. In the South, I, I live in Texas, but all along the South they all have their own way of making grits, what they put in it. So I put cheese, bacon, uh, onions, I've, I've seen a lot. Um, I, I like the plain and I like the cheese, but I don't think I've had bacon. With the plain, do you put butter on it? With butter, yeah. So, so it's pretty simple and you, you need to use, the best ones are to use is quick grits. Uh, they, they taste really good and they're easy to prepare. And the other kinds are instant and yeah. regular, they call the other one regular. Regular, mm -hmm. yeah. The regular ones do take longer and these to me taste really good. That's what I used all the time our kids were growing up. So we will start with uh, two thirds a cup of water. If you can turn that on to um, high. Yeah. So then you, uh, yeah, and then a couple of tablespoons of butter. And then that's going to boil with the salt. Thanks. Um, let's see. Butter and salt. Um, calls for, this is for four servings. So it calls for a. So again, <laughs> <laughs> <Most> salt, <no. laughs> two grains. <laughs> okay, two yeah, grains. Two. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, do you need us to turn that down, honey? Um, it's only it's supposed highest. to come to a boil, so that's good. It's about to. That's pretty fast. Wow, I like that. So as soon as the water boils, then you add the grits. So a good whisk is what you need to avoid the lumps. So I will pour in the grits after I got the water to boil and stir it. And let's see, it says to, uh, I need to turn it down. One more. Put all, all the way down to simmer. Stop there. So you'll simmer this for five minutes. So see that with it's quick, it's almost, I mean with instant, it's really almost instant, but this will take a few minutes. So what do you have going okay, on here? So I, uh, I have a little bit of bacon grease, maybe a little too much for that one. Let me get that. I just put it on a plate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you for the bacon so I have a little bit of bacon gr grease to fry this egg. I like my eggs fairly well cooked, and my husband likes his eggs fairly cooked. <laughs> fairly uncooked. Fairly yes. uncooked. <laughs> I like to cook my eggs not too fast or high, and I usually start it on a low while I'm doing the grits. Um, but if you, some people like them crispy, so if you want them crispy, then you would do it high so that you have the brown edges crispy. Oh yeah. When do you put the salt and pepper in? Right now. <laughs> yeah. Probably could do it any time. Any time, but, but here you can see it a bit better. Oh, the yeah, whites are white. You can't see where you yeah, salt it. Good point. I probably could do what Brad did, and then you could see any pepper. <laughs> you could see the yolk. You could <laughs> Lots of pepper. Yeah, yeah, just plus. Okay. okay. Now we're just waiting on the grits. Did you, you chunk that? Um. Five yeah. minutes. Um. Maybe. Well, they're probably. Yeah, I think they're good. Should we have a spoon? Yeah. Never mind, she got the whisk. I can't pick up some. Oh, she doesn't need it. Okay, so our grits are done. And now, put in the cheese. How much cheese was it? That is a cup and a half of cheese. Okay, so 
Oh, you're so smooth. Until it's melted. Now, do you can mix it in so it's all yellow, or do you need clumps of the? I just mix it in until it's melted myself. But, yeah. Well, we have to get the rest of the cheese out of the bottom, or those who are our viewers will wonder what happened. <laughs> a full cup and a half of cheese. Like, why did I waste three strands of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> the eggs looking good. Just a little bit. So this is what they look like. Oh yeah, that does, does look, look delicious. Like does look good, yummy. You want a serving plate? Oh, well, I doubt that made four servings, but it said four servings. I guess everybody has a different. Like on, on some recipes, you see that a serving is a half a cup. Well, that's like not very much. <laughs> okay, that's still a little bit for me. I'm not so you like to fold it over easy. Went over easy. No, no she likes to fold it. Oh, oh, you like it straight up. You no, no, not straight up, but I, 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 I flip it, but so I don't like any runny yolk. Oh, okay. I like it halfway, halfway between, I like it a little runny, but not a lot. Yeah, but not oozing out, but yeah. soft and not soft. Yeah. And I like, I like the white to be cooked mostly. Yes, all, yeah, all halfway out cooked, yeah. yeah. So I have his check like that, does he like this runny? He would have his over easy. <laughs> like he would have it like this, but... We turn them over all over. Well, turning it over makes it over easy. Oh, does it? Well, yeah. oh, this is sunny side up. That's right. Right. You would have that one. Another thing you can do if you want to keep it sunny side up and still cook the egg yolk is put like a tablespoon of water on it and cover the pan. But that's right. And the steaming lid. does cook the top yeah. without flipping it over. So I need to take that off the heat. Okay. Can you see the egg from the screen? Can you just flip mm -hmm. it without a fish? Are you kidding? No. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, done. so the way we serve these, is we put a nice little. Just kind of, it doesn't make more than it looked. Yeah, yeah there's plenty of yeah. the cheese in it. Just kind of spread them out a little bit. Egg right by it, and you usually Voila. take a bite of eggs with a bite so of crust. So this takes place at toast. Yeah, that is really it's pretty. Best. Because of making toast for all my yeah. kids are forever. Oh, and that so that replaced the toast. Uh huh. And there it is. <laughs>